In this video, we'll take a look at how you can reset your computer without losing your data or installed applications. There may be times when you want to refresh your operating system, but you don't want to go through the hassle of having to move all your data first and then reinstall all your applications. But there is a way we can reinstall Windows 10 without affecting your apps and personal data. Within Windows, you can typically reset your computer by going to Start, then Settings, Update and Security, then Recovery. Now under the Reset this PC option, you want to go to Get Started. Now here you have a couple of options if your computer isn't running well or you've made the decision to reset your PC. The first option, Keep My Files, will only keep all your personal files but removes apps and settings. So this option won't work for us as we need to keep apps as well as personal data. The second option, Remove Everything, removes all your personal files, apps and settings. So this option won't work either. However, there is a way to reset your PC and be able to keep both your personal data and your installed applications. So let's cancel and close these windows down. Then let's open a browser. Here, do a search for Windows 10 download. And it's going to be the first link here to download Windows 10. Once the page loads, you want to scroll down a bit until you see the Create Windows 10 installation media. And it's going to be the Download Tool Now option we're looking for, as this is what we'll be using to reinstall Windows. Once you've clicked on this, it will start to download the media creation tool for Windows 10 version 21H1, which at the time of this recording is the latest version. Once that's finished, go ahead and open the file. And I'll just minimize the browser here. Just give the tool a minute to load as it starts to prepare the wizard for us to use. When prompted, accept the licensing terms. Again, this will go off and start getting a few things ready in order for us to reinstall Windows 10. Now it will ask you what you want to do. You can create the installation media on a USB, DVD or ISO if you're planning on using this on another computer. We want to run this on our current computer so I'll go with the upgrade this PC now option and select next. Again it will start to prepare things in the background and start to download Windows 10. Once it's downloaded Windows 10 it will verify the download and then create the Windows 10 media which will be used for the installation. This can take a while depending on your internet connection, so just be patient for it to complete. It will then check for updates, and if any updates are installed during this process, it will tell you that Windows 10 setup needs to restart your computer for them to work. It will then go off again and check your computer. I'll accept the licensing terms again. This makes sure that you're ready to install. Then we'll do another check for updates. Again, just be patient for this to complete. Once that's finished, it will make sure that your computer has enough space to carry out the install. If you don't, then you may need to do a bit of housekeeping to free up some space for this. This will be where your current operating system is located, which is 99% of the time on the C drive. Now here is the important part of the install. You can see that it will tell you that Windows 10 will be installed. I have the Pro version installed, but if you have another version like Windows 10 Home for example, then this will show here. And most importantly, you can see that it will keep your personal files and apps. If you go into the change what to keep link, you can see the extra option here for keep personal files and apps, which is something you don't see under the built in Windows 10 reset options that we've seen earlier. Now, when you're ready, just select next. This goes off to check for updates. Now on the ready to install screen, you want to make sure that any applications, browsers or files that you currently have open are closed. Once that's done, then go to install to start the process. So you'll see the colour of the background change to a dark blue and it will give you details of its progress along the way. I'll speed up the video here as we could be waiting a while as every computer is different and some computers can be quicker than others depending on hardware. Once that part is finished, it will restart your computer. You'll find that the computer will reboot several times during this process as it will be working on updates affecting the Windows operating system and replacing files where required.
So once that's completed, it will bring you back to the login screen. I'll pop in my login details. And to check the version of Windows that I'm now running, we can go to Start, Settings, System, and about here at the bottom. And down in the Windows specifications, you can see that I'm running the updated Windows 10 version 2.1 H1. So that's how you reinstall Windows 10 while being able to keep your apps and personal files in the process. So I hope you found this video useful and if it helped you out then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.